We're out here today in Dava Forest in Northern Ireland. This would kind of be some of the typical style of trails which we at Vetus would be testing and developing some of our uh, models and range. With that, the model that we're here to talk about today is the Nucleus. And we want to be able to ride the Nucleus today, show you the sort of terrain that is possible to ride on it, and just to show you how much fun this hardtail can be. We're up at the top of one of the red trails and we're just about to drop in now. Um, we're gonna show you a wee bit of what the, the Vetus Nucleus can do. It's the perfect sort of bike for tackling this sort of riding where you have either red, blue, green trail centers or even a bit of natural trails as well. You know, you're gonna see a bit of a mix of features, berms, rollers, wee small drops. It's a really, really confidence inspiring platform. You've got a 120 mil travel fork and then you've got just dialed geometry. So we're really focused on trying to bring accessible performance uh, with the Nucleus range. It's a big key factor for us is to bring down the learnings that we have higher up in the range, the likes of our Summit and the Scarp range, and to ensure that we're bringing that quality ride field down into our Nucleus range as well. Yeah, so this is exactly the sort of stuff that the Nucleus is great, just fun trail center. Got wee berms, got a wee bit of rough stuff. Just got the perfect sort of terrain to learn in mountain biking. Yeah, have a wee bit of technical stuff to make me rock roll. Nucleus is capable of it as well. Yeah, it's a great option just to have loads of fun in mountain biking. And that's whether you're a complete beginner and you're just looking your first proper mountain bike, or you're somebody who's maybe been in the sport from a couple of years ago. And it's just looking a really accessible and reasonably priced way back in. We from section come up here. Yeah. The rollers, the bike berm. Yeah, it's just great. There we are, that's a wee run of one of the red descents here on the Vetus Nucleus. So we've climbed back up for another run uh, on the Nucleus and obviously massive topic in mountain biking at the moment is wheel size. Uh, we do offer the Nucleus in two wheel size options as I mentioned earlier. So you can either get a 27 and a half inch or a 29 inch options. And with those options, you do have different pros and cons depending on what riding style you have or what sort of terrain you're gonna be riding. So me personally, today I'm on a size large 29er. I find it to be a really good fit for me given that I'm six foot one tall and the trails that we're riding are kind of choppy trail center, kind of rough consecutive bumps. You're doing quite a lot of climbing, we're rolling, speed isn't important. And you're just wanting to keep quite a fast rolling pace on the trails. With this, you do lose slightly on the kind of tighter, twistier sections where a 27 and a half inch wheel might be more agile. So with that, you can choose between the two options depending on both your height and your riding style. So if you're looking may maybe more a poppy, playful and fun bike, the 27 and a half inch option might be better. Or if you're looking for a kind of a faster rolling, more uh, trail oriented bike, you're gonna be better suited onto the 29. So the trail we're about to ride is a slightly steeper option at the top. It's another red trail here in the forest. Um, it's got some tighter, twistier corners at the top into then kind of the darker forest with a few rollers and maybe a few options for a few jumps down the bottom. Uh, it should be a blast. I'm going to hit it now. This trail's got a wee bit more twisty stuff. A few tighter corners. A few nice rollers though. Look at rock steps there. All stuff that the Nucleus is more than capable of. Oh, you know what? 
just finished up riding trails here at Dava. Um, we've been out all day and we've ridden a mixture of kind of blue, green, orange and red trails. The new place has been amazing, it's taken it all on its stride. The bike's perfect for uh, a really accessible way into the sport. If you're looking for something that's really not going to break the bank, but provides you a really great platform to start on and then also upgrade from, this bike gives you the perfect opportunity to do that. I mean, if you're somebody that's always passed by trails on the way home, you've seen trail centers or you've been out for a walk, kind of seen trails sprouting up through the forest, this bike's going to give you that great platform just to get stuck in and do a bit of mountain biking. So if you're keen to know a bit more about the bikes, you can check them out at vitasbikes.com and learn a bit more about the range.